everybody and welcome back to my channel subscription boxes and more with Michelle and I was just with you a moment ago with a haul from Walmart and as you can see tablecloth looking pretty good it needs um, ironed it also is so large that I'm going to cut it in half and have uh, Riley hopefully sew the edge the cut edge for me and make two of them in case I ruin one um, right now it's doubled over <laughs> And I don't think it looks too bad that it has, it actually has snowflake ornaments and snowflakes. I guess, you know, various different, but I don't know if you can even see that in the video. I guess I'll find out in editing. Um, the camera sat at a wonky angle, so it makes my table look like it's at a wonky angle. The ta table's actually pretty straight compared, you know, in conjunction to the wall. It's just the camera's setting a little um, crooked. All right, so anyways, I have for you, I might cut all that out. I babble, babble. Um, I have for you the Target Haul. As you know from my previous videos, I am a fan of the Target Dollar Spot where things are a dollar, three dollars, five dollars. I haven't seen um, anything really over five dollars. It seems like they're, everything is in that. $1, $3, or $5, you know, in those increments. So, I have three bags full of goodies to share with you. Let's just pull them out randomly, shall we? One thing was $3, and that is this chalk cord. Um, that wants to hang a little wonky. It's a, a chalkboard sign. It's a heart, as you can see. I don't have any chalk because it had chalk, and I stupidly didn't grab a thing of chalk. But anyways, $3, guys, a whopping $3 for that nice size sign. I just thought it was kind of cute. And um, we need some things on the walls here because it, the house is very echoey at the moment without things on the walls or anything. Guys, look at this. Look at this. Aren't those the cutest bottles to put some little flowers or something or some of them use as a reed diffuser or whatever or just, just to you know, sit out and decorate. I don't know, $3 for three of them. So technically a dollar a piece, right? Pretty neat. There were white, uh, you know, just clear ones or these that are slightly like a blue screen color. I like this color better. I don't know, I should have bought both. But my husband already wants to strangle me because I strangle too much. Okay, I have kitty cats, as you well know, which means I can't really have plants because they will eat them and lots and lots of plants are toxic so and i have a black thumb i'll probably kill these plastic plants because plants and i i touch it and within days it's dead and that's no joke if i touch it i mean literally it withers goes black and dies um but anyways these were three dollars a piece a little topiary here and look at this one i like this one i think it's very realistic and I love this little guy here too. Isn't that cute? So I have those uh, shelves that I bought that have the, the live, love, laugh or whatever, however they are, the corner shelves that I bought for my husband. And I thought one of these smaller ones would be pretty there with the little home sweet home thing. And you know, and some in here to sort of, I don't know, liven it up a little. With liven it up with plastic plants, but I'm gonna turn that over so I don't scratch it with these. Um, the chalkboard because I want to set these aside so we can go to the next bag. That's one bag. Uh, for a dollar a piece, they have these cute little buckets. They have white ones and these pink ones. And I think one of them had a pattern on it. I don't remember what it was, but anyways, I got these cute little pink ones. Great for putting pens and pencils, markers, you know, other little bits and bobs. Got three of those. Kind of wish I would have gotten more because another thing you can do is use those little tiny hooks or the man hooks and hang them on the wall. Like, um, man, I gotta go back and get some more of these guys because I have so much, you know, so many art supplies. And that would be really good to hang like maybe across here with some markers and things up where cats can't keep knocking them down as easily. Maybe, possibly. I don't know. I th I'd like to get at least two more of these. Hmm. They're only a dollar. So I really need to look into that. Because I do not 
have enough storage. I mean, who can have enough storage when it comes to crafting, right? Uh, next, I don't know if this was a mistake or not. I asked the lady and she said that it wasn't, but it seemed to me like it was a mistake. Um, but the cashier swears it wasn't. Um, there was a, this was the only pack and um, Target, I think you're wrong. Because look guys, there are three different hang tags that have the dollar on them. I think I need to take this back and let Target know. I think this should have been opened and these should have been removed. I kept asking the lady to check it and she swore that it was supposed to be this way. But um, I think, as I said, I think she was wrong. There's three paint brushes in here for like watercolor or whatever. Um, a fan brush, which I didn't have any, so that's why I was interested. <clears throat> Looks like maybe a number two brush. I'm not sure. There we go. The brushes, but see, guys, they, these should have been a dollar a pack. I'm going to take these back. i got to find my receipt and let them know uh, so that they don't keep... If employees are putting these things out like this, you know, and they keep selling them in target dollar spot you're gonna to to see the prices go up because you know they can't afford to buy one get two free um because i used to own a store i'm very conscientious in in um very what do i want to say it really really i understand the whole um shrink shrink meaning you know, your, your profits shrink when, when things like damages happen or theft happens or this happens. Um, and anyways, it makes everybody's price go up and definitely makes it because the store's profits go down. I am going to put these back into this bag and I am going to go back. I'm going to get these anyways. I'm going to take this. I've got to find my receipt and let them know that somebody is not paying attention when they're putting the merchandise out. So the reason the lady thought that this was how it should have been packaged is probably because she'd been having them come up all day like this because the person that stocked the shelves didn't bother to open this package and put them out individually. That's laziness and that's shrink, which means the store's profits shrink, so the consumer's prices have to go up. Nope. Nope. I'm not going to be a part of that. So, uh, the next thing, check this out. Um, I hate that I have no controller to, you know, zoom you in and out. And that is something I'm going to buy very soon in the next three or four months, if not sooner, is a camera with that capability. I thought I bought one. Remember the Wish camera? It didn't turn out so good. Um, all right. So, anyways, I hope you can see this. It's a little, like, to-do list kind of dealio. Uh, daily organizer and it's got your little bullet points for priorities and then it says the date and goals for today and looking ahead and something at the bottom that I can't see for the label. Let's open that up and see what that says. Word of the day. So I guess that, you know, if you're trying to broaden your vocabulary or, you know, if you're trying to you know, like inspire yourself a little bit, that's a good thing. Uh, I bought this for junk journaling, obviously, because, you know, um, I like unique things like this to put into my junk journal to give it a little more interest. But you could use this on your desk and just use it as intended if you wanted to. And I may do a little bit of both. I mean, I don't, I'm not going to make that many junk journals and I don't want to put like, how many pages is it? 40. I don't want to put 40 in one junk journal. And I, you know, I get tired of using the same thing over and over, so... I'll probably use a few sheets for junk journaling and the rest for the intended use. I'll put that back in there in a minute. Uh, guys, I have never seen this. Sour Patch Kid Conversation Hearts. I always give my grandchildren a, the ones in Ohio, I don't get to see. I would give them to them, but I don't get to see them. So my other three... I am going to give a box of conversation hearts, and this time, instead of the regular ones, I'm going to give them Power Patch Kid ones. And that was a dollar for four, so that's pretty cool. Um, this is awesome. Awesome, guys. Three dollars. Look at this thing of crafting tools. Can you see it? 
Let me get a little closer. I really need that camera so I can zoom you in and out or whatever. I think that they have that ability, don't they? With a remote. So I don't have to keep doing it this way. All right. I don't know how well you can see it, but let me tell you what's in there. We have, looks like demo tools. Ugh. Um, Use the weeder, a weeder? For moving intricate negative cuts. Okay, I look at this as sort of like a toothpick kind of thing, you know, like the dentist uses to, uh, it's got like a pick on each end. And yes, you can, you can use it to get um, the little tiny pieces from your, um, your really intricate die. So you can get, you know, off of the, the cutting, the sticky mat. Or you can, you know, you can also use it to poke the pieces out of your, that get stuck in your dies. Or you can use this for so many things. You know, you could pierce, uh, use it as a piercing tool when you need to set a brad or, you know, just any number of things that you need a little tiny pointy thing for, right? And then there's another one here that is like an angled, um, what do they call them? Fine point tweezers. So it's, but it's an angled fine point tweezers so you can use it to set die uh, set die cuts down uh or any little th small things i mean we always need tweezers right and then there is um um small scissors for doing like fussy cutting and things like that and there is a scraper to adhere and smooth out vinyl or use it for cleanup but i was thinking you could use it to uh, put down like yes paste or mod podge or uh, paint if you need a big, you know, or um, if you're doing um, mixed media, like your, um, what do they call it, texture pastes and things like that, just make sure you clean it before it dries, right, no matter what medium you're using, and you can use this for a multitude of things, yeah, so, three bucks, three bucks, guys, so, if you do a lot of cricket or other cutting um, that's what these were intended for, were things like that, you know, doing your, like, your vinyl and, and all of that, but any crafting, really, so definitely three dollars, you might want to go get you a set of those. All right, then I bought two sets of stencils. Oh, oh this is going to get tiring. All right, here are the, I don't know if you can really... See, those is quote, mm. no, all right. Anyways, there's some that have like leaves and things and some that have different, just different patterns, but they also came with the stencil brushes. And I thought with all that paint, you know, we might find something to do, paint us some backgrounds with those uh, and then do some artwork over it, say for cards or something. Um, I just thought, you know, I haven't played around with a lot of painting in my uh crafting my paper crafting and all of that and they were there for three dollars so i thought i would try give those a try um and there's all kinds of uh with these stencils you could also with that spatula thing here you could also do um which i don't have yet like texture paste with these on your background and things like that um i've not played a lot with mixed media as you've heard in my um other videos so I thought you know I'm gonna give this a try I got all this paint plus um you know I'm gonna try some mixed media stuff so check these out junk journals right or any journals doesn't have to be a junk journal it could be any journal these are I'll show you because I got two of them I should have I wanted all of them but they're three bucks a piece um I wish that they didn't have like this like weird wonkiness to it but when you put your pens in it's gonna Take up that, you know, it's got to have some space so it'll fit, see? So you can put a pencil or two or pen in there. It's on elastic. So you can move it from book to book. It doesn't have to stay in one. So really it doesn't hurt to... Guys, this could go on a page in a junk journal, right? Anyways, um, came up there. Um, so you don't really need all of them all of them but if i had more money i would have gotten all of them because i if i give a junk junk journal as a gift i could put a nice pin in there and you know have that on there um for the person that i made the junk journal for for myself one or two is plenty 
However, as I said, I like to gift junk journals and they would have been neat, a neat addition to put like on the cover, you know, a way to band it closed maybe, but have the, um, the writing utensil. So, um, so you never know if I hit the lottery between now and when those are sold out, I might just have to buy all of them. Um, pack of these sponge, uh, various sizes, there's only three different sizes of these sponge paintbrush applicator things. I've never really bought them. I've used them. I've never bought them. It was three for a dollar. And I thought, well, you know, if I want to like cover the canvas in one color and then paint on it, um, that would make it quicker. Look at this cuteness for three dollars. Three dollars seems to be the price of the day. Mostly. Most of the things I bought for three dollars. Which is, you start counting how many things I bought. Ooh, my husband is not happy with me. Look, look, guys. How much wear my, you have dog or cat. Or, and I say, you know, it's mostly pets because I have two dogs and two cats. Uh, we hope you love pet hair. Home sweet home with the pet paw print there. So, because it's a new house, you know. And um, it sort of goes with the whole black, gray, and white kind of color scheme. Except for that one. Too bad it's not gray instead of tan. But I thought those were really cute. And because we have four pets, definitely home is where the pet hair is. Definitely, most definitely, we have a lot of pet hair. Oh, this is something. Hey, I found my receipt so I can go back and show them that they only charged me for one. Now, let me double check that they only... How am I supposed to know? No idea. They will check it out and see. But I'm 999% sure I only paid for one of those things. Look at this. This is a tasting journal. Now, I am currently making a junk journal that is coffee themed. I'm not going to go around the world tasting different coffees more than likely. But I thought this was a cute addition anyways to journal in. You don't have to use it for a tasting journal. It's a dollar. Mm. Taking the thing off of it. Let's see what it looks like. Let me show you the page. They're all the same, I believe. I mean, you could keep track if you're going to different places and things like that of coffees you like or don't like, right? Let me see if you can see that. You probably even pause and no, I did not say that. Anyways. Um and we were all thinking it. Hey, now, don't break stuff. I'm such a klutz. All right. Uh, it says coffee, origin, and name, roaster, producer, roast date, brew date, beverage, price, and then flavor profile, citrus fruit, floral, heavy, light, smooth, finished, smoky, bitter, savory, spicy, berry fruit, stone fruit, chocolate, caramel, sour, tart, salty, dry, or clean. I didn't even know there were those. It, it, is this coffee or not coffee? I guess I'm not a connoisseur. Chocolate and coffee. That's 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 my flavor profile. I drink coffee that I put hot chocolate, sugar-free hot chocolate in, and it one Splenda. That's my coffee. My husband and I call it prison coffee because we watch a prison um, YouTube channel called After Prison Show. And on After Prison Show back when they were doing a lot of cooking videos, they talked about coffee in prison coffee, making it like a frou-frou prison coffee is hot chocolate in your coffee. <laughs> so for those who maybe have a lot of commissary. So we joke and call it my prison coffee. Um, that's pretty much the extent of it. Otherwise, when I go out once in a blue moon, I get some kind of frou-frou coffee somewhere. But A, I'm diabetic. And so I have to be really careful not to do that very often because it really blows my sugars up. And B, they're very expensive. And C, without a real stomach, I, sweet things, things that have very much sugar and whatever can make me really sick. Um, everything makes me sick. Everything I eat, everything I drink. But particularly to things that are too sugary can make me really sick. And I pay the price. So once in a blue moon, I will drink one and I will pay the price. So this I will not use a lot for the intended purpose, but you know why? It still looks cute to stick in there. And 
I can write on here with a marker and write over top of what it says. Or, you know, um, make this even into a mini journal inside the journal and put pockets and, you know, whatever. Uh, I just thought it was cute because it said coffee and it was a dollar. And, and I can use a few pages if I, like, you know, skip through and say, well, at um, such and such a place, um, where did I get one I like? Cracker Barrel. I got one I really liked. It was a cinnamon. It was like a seasonal coffee drink. It was something with cinnamon. It was actually really good. It was like a hot latte kind of thing. See, I could write it that in here. So I don't remember. So I have to go back. There's a reason to go back. So I can write it in my book. All right. And I was telling you in the uh, Walmart haul and where I showed you all the acrylic paints that I got some for a dollar a piece at Target thinking I, oh, look, I found these paints and I needed them. And that was a deal. Well, I mean, it was at least the same as everywhere else, but 50 cents for Apple Barrel paint at Walmart. So I really did not. I paid double. All right. But they had silver and gold. And, you know, I did need those. And I was having trouble finding silver or gold at, um, maybe they were sold out at Walmart or whatever. A couple of white. Again, I could have gotten this for a dollar instead of this for a dollar. I did not know. You can tell I don't buy these. I bought one, one black because uh, Riley just bought me a big thing of black. But before Riley bought the big thing of black, I had no black and except for the, the pen. And I used it all up. And I needed black really bad. So I bought an extra one just so, you know, just to be safe. I bought this bright pink. And I bought this red. So I did not buy more red because red is red, except for the, the one that was kind of a burgundy. I'm glad those were the only ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven dollars. It should have been three fifty. Oh, I am really mad at myself. You know what? Maybe I'll take these back with this receipt. Maybe I'll just keep the silver one and the gold one and take these ones back. Because that would give me one two fifty back that I could use to cover my buckets. I think I might do that because really, really, I put my um, paint brushes in there because those need return. Well, not return, but I need to pay for the two. I well, returning these paints will pay for these paint brushes and one thing of a half of something else. And that is dry paint from one of those. Really? Where did that come from? All right, let's put that aside because that has got to go back to the store. Aha! Last bag, but it's a big one. Just because the items are big. Look at this neatness. Look at this little canister, this little container. I wish that I could have afforded more, but this was a $5 item. And that was a big splurge. Um, okay, $5 is not that much, right? Well, it is for me. And I'd already spent... All of this. And I usually am not allowed to spend this much. I and mean, if some plants would have gone in, I would not have been able to get anything. Maybe the paint, and that would have been it. Because he doesn't like me to spend money. And I don't blame him because it's not like we have a lot to spend. But look at this, guys. Nice wooden lid. Thing of silica. I mean, I can put tons of things in there, right? Crafty items. And it just looks nice. I'll get that off later. OCD bothering me, but I'll try not to make you sit there while I peel that off. All right. Uh, next. Um, I get the Better Homes and Gardens magazine because I get it for free because it's something I bought um, that was Better Homes and Gardens related. So they're just sitting on my counter at the moment and they get damaged. I use the pictures out of those to do some like other journaling, whatever, mixed media kind of things, whatever, uh, after I'm done reading it. And um, I wanted a way to get it, get them organized and off the shelves and, you know, hey, here's the magazine, you need to use it. Look at this neat uh, magazine holder. Five bucks. I would have liked to, they had a gold one and the black one. I would like to have had an, another one or two, but five bucks. Um, so we'll just have to use up the magazines faster. Um, I, to protect my clothes, 
while I'm using the paints or the uh, epoxy resin. I've been wanting to get a um, an apron. I have an apron somewhere with pumpkins all over it that one of my um, one of my customers that used to come into my scrapbook store uh, in Ohio, Scrapbooks to Cherish, to being the number two. Uh, her name was Cookie, and she bought me this. I love pumpkins, and she bought me a pumpkin apron. I can't find it. I, I know it's in the boxes somewhere. But, you know, after a move, it can take a while, uh, and I'm not well, so it takes me even longer to unbox everything. So I needed an apron for now if I'm going to be doing any crafting. Do you try to save my clothes? So it's just a gray and white kind of stripey apron. And it was another $5 item. Ugh. All right, a couple of $3 items again. Look at this, guys. Lost socks and the little clippy things. Don't we always need, I've already got like four or five lost socks on top of my dryer because they got separated from their, their, partner their mate um and hopefully i find them but if not you know they can hang on here until we do and i wish i would have gotten more than one of them like a his and hers i could have put on you know his and hers or something uh and i want to get a um another one that has uh dobby socks or whatever and hang up too but i don't have that yet uh and but look to hang next to the door keys I do have an extra set of keys to the house, and I really don't want them to get lost. I can hang it on there, right? Um, but I keep laying my keys around. I thought maybe this would be better. Uh, I can hook it there <laughs> instead of just laying it on a counter. Let's hope I actually use it. Um, if not, it also it would be handy to like something that needs to go in the outgoing mail. You know, clip it to it uh, to take to the mailbox when I go check the mail, whatever. So it doesn't have to just be just the keys. It could be the keys and mail possibly i want to get one of those mail sorter things that goes on the wall um next to the door but you know what'll happen i'll just put all the mail in there and it'll just be stuffed full because i have a problem throwing it away because i'm like what if i need it why would i need it they'll send me another one true trust me right uh but that's just my ocd brain and look at this cute banner can you see that it Spells, um, it has love and then there's um, the flowers on each end. And, you know, even though it's supposed to be for Valentine's Day, it can be at any time, right? Because love is every day, not just, not just at Valentine's Day. Three dollars. I just thought it was kind of pretty and it would go nice in here somewhere with, you know. Last item. Last item, I promise. Another five dollar item. And I thought I could decorate this up. It is a little, um... It's called display shelving. And, you know, I figured I've got some things I want to keep the cats out of that I might be able to put in there. You know, there's always some kind of knickknack. Um, and the shelves can be uh, spaced out differently than they have here because in between each one is another uh, slot where you can move the shelf up or down. So if you need, like, just have something taller you could take a shelf out or you could move them around and make them you know so i thought that was pretty cool and it's got hangers on the back and like i said i figured i could paint that up decorate it somehow um or leave it plain either way right so that is what i bought to decorate the house and and crafty things and all of that from target dollar spot um don't forget to go and check there before you go um buying things someplace that costs you know costs more dollar spot at target that's a way to spend some money and get some neat decorative items and crafty items and gift items um they just have all kinds of things and with that i would like to ask you please like comment subscribe and share please subscribe um it means the world to me it means the world to all us youtubers but it really means a lot to me. It will help my channel so much. And it costs you nothing. It only takes a blink of an eye for you to do it. So if you would do that for me, I would be very grateful. Uh, I will be having a 200 subscriber um, contest coming up very soon. And um, so stay tuned and watch for that video coming up very soon. Thank you for watching.
see you in the next video in just a second. Bye-bye. All right, just a tiny update, guys. Um, I called Target and let them know um, though it's really bad outside. I um, didn't want to make that drive, uh, but I wanted to let them know in case there were people stocking and putting things out in that dollar spot about the paintbrushes. They said just keep them, uh, that, but they would uh, make sure that they talk to the people that run that, you know, that stock that area to be more mindful that thank you for being honest. Don't want you to go out in this weather, blah, blah, blah. Just keep them. Um, I offered to come in and pay for those two pay packages of paint brushes that I ended up getting for free. Uh, that coming down from management, uh, I'm not, I don't feel that great. I mean, thank you, Target. Don't feel that great about it, but um, thank you nonetheless. Now, more update. Because of the weather, I decided that I would just keep those paints since I, they don't want me to come back. Um, I'll just keep my dollar paints and remember that I can get them 50 cents from now on. But I wanted to show you what I did with that shelf. Ouch, I just sat that on my finger and it's really heavy. My shelf that I had that I was going to decorate and hang on the wall to put little knickknacks in. Actually, I decided I needed something to put my paints in so that I could see them. So there you go. <laughs> I used it for that. And um, it held all of them and there's a space for a couple more. So that's an uh, excuse, right, to go back and get a couple more. I think I can put two or three more. Um, so those are uh, my paints stored in that. So um, that's another idea. You could still decorate it. You could use it for, for bottles like this um, to be able to see the colors that you have. I'm storing them upside down so I can see the color rather than paint the color on top of the lid, which I, there's one that couldn't make it upside down, uh, which I should do, but for the moment they are stored upside down, which you have to be careful opening them. You might want to set them upright for a second before you open them if you store them this way. Otherwise they can splatter paint everywhere with an air bubble. And, um, so I like to set mine up for just a second and it still allows the paint, especially as it gets lower, it allows you to get the paint out without fighting and fussing with the bottle uh, as much. And it lets you see the colors um, until they get down a little lower. But I do need to paint the swatch on top of the lids and um, just haven't gotten to that yet. So anyways, just wanted to show you what I did with this box from Target. The dollar spot at $5. Um, it was worth $5 just for the storage uh, of my paints. And um, update you on what they said about getting those paint brushes. And they were really just, you know, you, you didn't have to say anything. Well, of course they didn't have to say anything. Um, but I did be because I have to for myself. I cannot use those paint brushes knowing I did not pay for them. I just can't. Uh, then I would be a thief knowing I didn't pay for getting them by accident. That was an accident. Keeping them knowing and using them. That's a thief. So, but now it's not a thief because they said keep them. All right. Um, bye again. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.